Hey guys, welcome to my final part of my advice column videos. Here are my two guests for today. Introduce yourselves. Hi guys, I'm Krithika. Hi guys, I'm Dagby. First question is, what are you guys doing to prepare for finals this year? So we're obviously studying. Um, I recommend, well in the past, I've definitely had those morning of or night before studying. But I don't recommend that because a lot of times you stress yourself out and then it's just bad. So um, I'm studying early and basically what I'm doing, like for math example, um, I'm taking my previous, like every single unit and I'm taking a day for that unit. And so I'm just reviewing all my tests and quizzes and like all the material in that. And then, um, and then at the end, I'm gonna review all the problems. So I'm also studying early like Don B for finals because I don't do well with studying the night before because I tend to sleep the night before. So um, I'm doing, I'm looking over my tests and quizzes just like Dombi said. And I think math and physics are my biggest concern. So just going over old work and looking at stuff like that. Okay, one piece of advice that I would give, especially to the underclassmen, um don't let it get to your head that like the weight of this final like i know it's like a big deal because it's like a final exam but it's just another test and you don't have to like do a bunch of extra crazy stuff like way more than you do for any normal exam i think you'd be surprised how much you remember from throughout the year once you start like <laughs> reviewing things sometimes it comes back to you also eating breakfast is healthy yes yeah. and getting sleep don't skip before. your breakfast or while during your final you can be like oh what's that noise and it's gonna be your stomach <laughs> <laughs> she's right okay question two is what do you want people outside of uni to know about uni uni kids are fun a lot of people think people at uni are all like the same breed but i think there's a lot of like diversity within uni like you see like all these different people and like all these different like groups who enjoy different things and so like a lot of people think oh if i come to uni or like the people who come to uni are all like super studious like super like studious <laughs> driven i guess and yeah you do have that but you also find people who have different interests out of that and you'll definitely find someone like who has your interest also you get to know your class really well like everyone in your class instead of like being in a bigger school where you might not interact with everyone in your class as much um i think people tend to think that when you put a lot of like high achieving kids in one place that it gets really like overly competitive and we're kind of cutthroat but i think that we are there for each other we support each other there's definitely people who like sauce each other like homework answers and things like that like we're just like any other school in the sense that we like have a community and we are like there for each other and support each other and literally like all the students they like help each other like if they have a study guide they're sh they'll share it with like the whole class or if they have like a quizlet they're gonna share it with the class because they know like other people are out there like struggling and studying and that can definitely help them yeah okay final question for you guys as the semester comes to an end what has been your favorite class this semester i want to go first i really <laughs> like I really, really like Bug Bio with Mr. Stone. It's a very fun class. I was gonna say that. Fido takes. Yeah, no, I said first though too. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> but it's it's very hands on, and Mr. Stone um, teaches Bug Bio really well. Like it, he teaches it in a way that's interesting and keeps you engaged. I, I'd say it's different from like bio classes in other schools because a lot of other schools have a structure where it's like notes and exams, but this is more like like a semester long like cumulative like project sort of and it's been really fun to like go drive out to like random parts of town and like catch bugs even though I'm really scared of them. So I have a love-hate relationship with physics. I really struggle with it but at the same time I really like it because when I solve a problem it gives me an adrenaline rush and then it makes me feel like I can do so many things. But on a daily basis I would say English. I'm taking African American literature with Mr. Mitchell and Mr. Mitchell is such a great teacher. I love him so much. He's like super energetic and even when like I've definitely had days where I was like just falling asleep because I had not because of the class content but just because of like a rough like night and so like he energizes you and he's just like such a great teacher and like really like helps you think about things and like his class is just super exciting so I would say that class is like one of my favorites.
<laughs> thank you guys for tuning in to <laughs> thank you guys for tuning into these videos. Hope you enjoyed. Good luck with finals.